A synonym is courageous. And so whenever I see stories of bravery on TV, especially in the news, that's maybe my favorite part of the news instead of all those other terrible things that they report on the news. And I went on the internet last night and there was a man I read about, a man, a man in Kenya. He is the only adult who's in charge of this orphanage. And, and there were people who came over to attack the orphanage. And he had the audacity to stand up to these attackers. And these attackers had machetes. And so there was a picture of him. He, he was cut by a machete on his face. But somehow he was able to defend all the children against these attackers. And, and he called the police and people came to rescue the children in the, in the orphanage. So he has a proof of his bravery on his face. And also there's recent news about these young guys who were, I believe, on this airplane. And they had the audacity to stand up against people <laughs> who were going to terrorize the, the airplane. And, and they saved the people on the plane. And another story that happened, I believe it was last week, in a high school in Huntington Beach, there were people, there was a fight that broke out. And they were beating up this blind guy. And this other high school students came and saw what happened. And he had the audacity to stand up to these attackers <laughs> and punch the, the attackers so that they would stop you know, hitting on this blind guy and beating him down. So these stories really warm my heart, just to hear stories that there's still people who are willing and audacious enough to stand up to people who, to har who harass other people. <laughs> So with that, um, I would like to welcome back our total. Move your junk food to the shelf. And Asher, I see you in the gym in the morning. So I, at least we're trying, right? It's progress, not perfection. And it's all working towards bettering ourselves. So thank you to you both for your well thought out speeches. And I just want to point out that you two are one of our newest members. So it's really exciting to see you guys progress through the early stages of your speeches with such great topics. So thank you once again. That concludes our prepared speeches portion. We're now going to move on to table topics. And to guide us through that, help me welcome our table topics master today, Miss Helen Lowe. I'm looking forward to our table topics time today and just hearing what interesting responses people will have to the theme of bravery. The first question I thought of what in your mind constitutes bravery? I would like to ask Doug that question. Ooh. What in your mind constitutes bravery? Fellow Toastmasters, Madam Table Topics Master, what a fabulous question. You know, we've seen some great examples from real life and, and from Hollywood. <laughs> you know, we've, we've got some, uh, one, the one that came to mind was Braveheart, which is about a man who truly epitomized bravery. He went up against the English crown at a time when that was not considered okay, and he brought them to have to deal with him. Now, the outcome was not something we'd like to hear about, because they drew and quartered him, but he made them do it. He made them do it for his principles. That's bravery. When you can stand up, look death in the face, walk into it and say, show me. That's bravery. Madam Table Topics Master. Thank you, Doug. Doug usually gives a lot of give us a lot of deep provoking thoughts and so that's why I thought oh that'd be a good question for him so the next question is who is the bravest person you know and I would like to ask Mark Ooh. Toastmasters and a table top so who do I think is the brave or bravest? Mm -hmm. Dang, I don't know. Um, 
I think I've used it before because I feel like there was another speech where we talked about something, uh, something similar. So I, where I think I threw him out there, but I'll throw him out there again. Uh, it, was, it was my grandfather because he grew up, uh, you know, back in the 30s, like most, well, I guess most of our grandparents. Did. <laughs> and but he, you know, didn't have a lot, but he made something of himself. He has his own company now that actually my father runs now. He doesn't run anymore, but. He helped establish it because when he used to work, the, the trucking company he used to work for, he realized, you know, I can do this myself, I can do it better. And so to kind of break out on your own and do that, I think requires a lot of bravery and audacity. Because a lot of us, you know, it's easy to get comfortable where you are and to do your own thing or to work for another company. But to kind of break out on your own and take that financial risk, that uh, business risk, and to to do that is, is, is not easy. And so I guess that's who I think is one of the braver people I know. The next question, how does a person learn to be courageous? Aaron, we would like to hear your thoughts. <laughs> Courage is a very important part of life today. The first step to being courageous is having the audacity to test the limits. Also, a lot of introspective thinking, realizing where you are, what your limits are, and being audacious enough to test yourself and be real with what you find because a lot of times people do not do that and they try to be in denial of what they find because of either seeking social validation or trying to measure themselves up with other people that they see. Another, the second step to that would be once you, once you find where you are Allow yourself to be okay with taking baby steps. It's about progress, not perfection, as two of my fellow Toastmasters just mentioned. Being okay with that and just realizing where you are in life. So, so doing that and then pushing the limits. Also, speaking about where you are. I think it's very important for people to communicate with one another and let us let one another know the journey that, that they're on. Having the audacity to be open with others about where you are will really help yourself become comfortable with your position as well as inspire others. I think we've seen that manifest here today. No, I'm not going to do it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. I'll go <laughs> shopping. <laughs> Thank you for those thoughts and tips on being courageous. I knew when you, we give you the stage, you're going to, of course, try to use the word as many times as you can. <laughs> what? <laughs> right now, let's think of a real life scenario. You are leaving work one day, and on your way home, you stop at a nearby McDonald's. In the parking lot, you see a group of guys, young guys, and they don't look like clean-cut, nice guys. This could be a, a game, for, per se. And they are circled around a girl, and they are harassing her. And while you're watching, you don't see any actual crime going on at that moment. But things do not look good, and something could happen any minute. So, if you were witnessing this event, Kyle, what would you do? Um, I would like to say that I'd be a tough guy and just jump in the middle there. Like, Whoa, everybody, step back here. But i um, not exactly sure that I would be that guy. Um, one. A uh, little small story is I um, attempted to do things on my own recently. I had a flat tire 
and I um, attempted to change it because I've done that before and this is a test of my manhood. And <laughs> I got down there, I, uh, I started you know, loosening the tire and started to take it off and then it, it wouldn't come off, it would just need a little bit more um, umph and then all of a sudden the car rolls forward and hits the, the parked car in front of me and everybody says, um, you know, why did you do that, Kyle? And uh, you know, why didn't you just call AAA? The and I, you know, I said I wanted to do it myself, and everyone was giving me crap for um, having the audacity to change my tire by myself. <laughs> but um, even the the guy, the um, the guy that, that actually changed my tire, he said, he said, why, why didn't you just call AAA in the beginning? It's like if I was on if I was on the weekend and I had it flat, I'd call AAA myself too. So I would probably stand back and um, make sure that there is nothing going wrong. I'd observe the situation, uh, make sure it's not something just that I'm just seeing, and um, if there is something, then, then I would, you know, if I saw something that really was going wrong, I would either, uh, you know, call out, try to defuse the situation, um, and or call 911, and or try to get some others around me to, to try to help as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the example of the story of the flat tire. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, an addendum here. Uh -huh. Has anybody called 911 from a cell phone? Mm. No. It, yeah. it, it is worthless. Really? Do not call 911 from the cell phone. Oh. Locate the local police department in your phone. Call the watch desk. Say, I need help. You will get help immediately. You call 911, you go up to San Francisco or Sacramento, mm -hmm. they go, well, we'll be with you in like five minutes. Mm -hmm. right? Oh. So learn where your local municipalities are. I have Manhattan Beach, Redondo Beach, and Torrance in my phone. So if you have an emergency, you can call someone who can actually help. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Call okay. them directly? or you, yeah. you have call, 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 call it landline. Okay. Call their landline. Okay. The watch commander picks it up, and, and you, can, you can action it. Because if you call 911, it's, it's, it's a disconnect. We yeah. tried to call, somebody drove off the freeway and called 911. Ten minutes later, I said, yeah, we were at this place, and we saw an accident. They go, oh. So, oh, well. a lesson mm -hmm. learned. Thank you, Doug. Thank All right. you. <clears throat> okay, our next question. Talk about a memorable act of bravery that you have seen in a movie. Um, Teresa? Yeah. Thank you, Madam Tabletop. It's Master for that question. An act of bravery I've seen in a movie. Wow. There's so many movies that I see that have so many different things. Let's see. It's really hard to say. I'm thinking. <laughs> I am thinking. What have I seen lately? Oh, I know. I just saw... Oh my goodness, I can't even think of it. <laughs> I can't even think about it. But, you know. Perfect man? The perfect man, that's right. That's right. I just saw the perfect man. And I don't know who have seen it, but that was a movie that had a real act of bravery in it. And it was, first of all, the, the man this woman met this man and he was really nice to her in the beginning. So I could see why she was attracted to him. The things he said, the way he treated her initially. But it turned out that he was pretty much a stalker. And I would say what she did in the end was very brave of her. She talked to the police officer and you know basically they could you know they can't really help you until something happens. But then he told her this story about a friend of his. And this was his way of giving her an idea of what to do. Bottom line is, she started pretty much provoking him to get him to attack her or to come after her. But I think that was smart because in the end, she basically protected herself by killing him. Unfortunately, he had to die. That was, the only, that was the only way she could get him off of her, to get him out of her life, to leave her alone. And so that, to me, the 
person, she was the protagonist, right? Mm -hmm. She was brave by killing him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our, our last question. Okay. One more? No, we don't. Okay. All right. Well, that concludes our time for um, table topics today, and I want to turn it.